Hi guys, good day. Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ang i-discuss naman natin is yung 2019 Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge for Grade 10 mga Lodi Division Orals. Ito yung mga easy round questions. So how do we solve these problems mentally? So, paano ba natin sila iso solve within the time limit na 15 seconds? Tsaka yung hindi tayo nagsusulat sa, uh, pap, sa, eh, sa papel or dun sa... Ere mga Lodi, di ba na minsan nagsusolve tayo gano'n Pero hindi pwede kasi yun sa easy round So discuss natin paano natin sa solve So number one Find the solution set of the inequality X times X plus 1 Is less than X So mentally, X times X plus 1 is less than X So ang gawin natin, distribute agad natin siya Madali lang naman siya i-multiply mentally So that will become X squared plus x is less than x. Tapos, ano na yung magiging ano nyan? So, ang mangyari, okay, may x, may x. So, mawawala yun. Therefore, x squared is less than 0. So, you will end up with this in your mind na x squared is less than 0. Eh, kapag ang isang number in square, automatic, greater than siya sa 0. Pero, pwede na naman siya maging equal to 0, pero never siya magiging 0. Uh, Therefore, ay magiging uh, less than 0. Therefore, ang magiging sagot dito is no solution. Pwede mo namang isulat na ganito. Or kapag isusulat mo siya, ganito siya. Ibig sabihin nito mga Lodi, empty set. Ganyan siya isolve. Okay? So, madali lang naman siya. X squared plus X less than X. X squared less than 0. Wala mag-satisfy. Therefore, no solution or empty set. Number 2. A circle centered at the origin... Passes through the point negative two comma three and three comma k. What is k? So ang sinabi mga lodi centered sa at the origin. So yung center natin lies at the point zero zero. So what will happen mga lodi is that ganito. So isipin natin okay. So ang gagawin natin, pwede mo kasi siyang isolve mentally na kung ano yung distance nito. This is defined as the radius, di ba? Circle is the is the locus of the point which move so that it is equidistant from a fixed point called the center. Therefore, the distance of any point from the center is what we call as the radius. So, dapat pare parehas yon. So, ang gagawin natin kung ano natin yung distance ito mentally, since ang distance naman pare silang may square root, pwede na natin tanggalin kasi squaring both sides. So, what will happen kung ano natin yung distance ito? So, that is zero plus two quantity squared plus 0 minus 3 quantity squared. So, you will come up with that sa utak nyo, mga Lodi. So, okay. So, ibig sabihin ng distance sa kanila, square root of 13. Eh, since in-square na natin, that is 13. So, this will be equal to dito na tayo, mga Lodi. So, that is 0 minus 3 quantity squared plus 0 minus k quantity squared. So, napansin natin, ano ko, parang ganun. Ba't parang parang sila? Kasi ito yung dalawang tumalawala, mga Lodi, di ba? So, that is 4 is equal to 0 minus k quantity squared. O, alam natin na ang 4 is equal to k squared. Therefore, k is equal to plus or minus 2. So, ganun lang siya. Madali lang siyang mentalin. Kasi, negative 2, 3, tapos 3k. So, parang automatic 2 na agad yun or negative 2. I-check lang natin. Ah, since distance lagi namang a positive absolute value. Therefore, yung k pwedeng 2, pwedeng negative 2. Ganun siya. Okay? Next, proceed tayo sa number 3. Number 3. The fourth truth of an arithmetic series, of, oh sorry, of an arithmetic sequence is, six, is 48. And the seventh term, or sorry, and the tenth term is 68. What is the first term? So, how do we solve this mentally? So, ganito yan mga Lodi. Ito yung unang method. Unang method, gawin natin yung normal. So, ang first step, how do we compute For the common difference. Dapat alam natin ito mentally na ang difference, kapag hindi ginamit yung first term, that is a sub n minus a sub k all over n minus k. So, we have to remember mentally, okay, ang binigay ay 4 at 10. Fourth term and 10 term. So, yan ay nasa baba natin. 10 minus 4. Ano yung answer, IJ? Yung pinakadulo or pinakamataas na term na binigay. Yung k, yung mas nauna sa kanya. So, 10 minus 4. Ano yung a sub n natin? 68 minus 48. So, that is equal to 68 minus 48. That's 20 over 10 minus 4. So, that is 20 over 6. Or that is 10 over 3. So, ganito yan. 10 over 
Then, kung paano mo ngayon kukunin yung A sub 1? Eh, di from A sub 4, magbawas ka ng tatlong common difference. Kasi A sub 4, A sub 3, A sub 2, A sub 1, tatlong difference yun. Therefore, A sub 4 minus 3D. So, that is 48 minus 3 times 10 thirds mentally. That is 38. Yan yung una nating solution. How about our second solution, Sir IJ? So, inisip natin 4 and 10. So, kunin natin yung mga terms na in between. Ano ba yung pinaka-average ng 4 and 10? So, that is 7. 4 plus 10, that is 14 over 2, that is 7. Therefore, para makuha yung 7 term, kukunin mo lang yung average nito. So, that is a sub 7 equals 48 plus 68 over 2. So, madali na siyang computein kasi 20 yung difference. Therefore, 10 dapat yung difference ng gitna dun sa dalawang 48 and 68. So, this is equal to 58. So, from that, okay. So, ibig sabihin, ng common difference nila 10, therefore, ang magkakasunod, A sub 1, A sub 4, A sub 7, A sub 10, di ba? In, ano sila equidistant from each other? A sub 1, A sub 4, tatlo. Difference. A sub 7, A sub 4, tatlo. A sub 10, A sub 7, tatlo. Therefore, kung 10 yung difference, A sub 1 is equal to A sub 4 minus 10 lang. So, that is 48 minus 10. Kaya, magiging final answer ay 38. Ganun lang siya, mga lodi. Okay? Sana nakuha nyo yan. Proceed tayo sa next item. Okay, item number 4. If negative 1 is a root of the given equation 2x to the 4th plus 2x cubed is equal to 3x squared plus kx plus 2. What is k? x is negative 1 is a root. Therefore, Unang basa pa lang, tandaan na natin, 2x to the 4th plus 2x cubed. So, pag sinubstitute natin yung negative 1, 2x to the 4th. So, that is negative raised to the 4th, positive. So, that is 2, pero ito, add yung exponent natin. So, dapat, ang gawin natin dito, 0 na agad siya. Kasi, that's 2 times 1 plus 2 times negative 1. Then, substitute mo na lang to mentally. Negative 1 squared, 1 times 3, that is 3. Minus k, kasi negative 1, 2, plus 2, eh, ito wala na. 0 equals 5 minus k, k is equal to 5. Ganun lang siya. Paano natin yun may establish? Paano natin masasana yung sarili natin? Constant practice lang, mga lodi. Yung mga coaches natin dyan, let's try to change the given. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung coach ka, hindi lang naman ikaw yung tagabasa ng tanong. So, dapat, you have to, ano rin, you have to, parang kailangan sabayan mo rin yung mga, yung mga tinitrain mo, mga, mga coaches natin dyan. So, dapat ay tayo yung role model. Hindi lang tayo nagbabasa sa kanila. So, dapat sabayan din natin sila. Siyempre, gusto natin silang mas gumalin. So, let's be an inspiration to them by uh, getting ourselves better din naman. Okay, next, number 5. A 3 cm cord is 3 cm away from the center. Isipin agad, 3 cm cord 3 cm away from the center. Ang hinahanap is yung area ng circle. So, ang gawin natin, 3 cm, hatiin natin ito sa dalawa. That is 1.5 cm. Tapos, paano natin kukunin yung, ano nyan, Sir IJ? Yung square root na mas madali. I mean, yung, ano, radius natin. Kasi alam natin dyan, Sir IJ, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin ito, ba yung r. Kasi kailangan natin sa pi r squared. So, paano natin kukunin yung r? So, that's r squared is equal to 3 squared plus 1.5 squared. So, kayang-kaya naman natin siguro i 1.5 squared, di ba mga lodi? O kaya pwede mong gawin 3 halves. O kaya kung sanay ka sa 1.5, okay lang naman din, either of the two. Alam ang 3 squared? 9. Ang 1.5 squared, that is 2.25. Eh, di ba r squared na yan mga lodi? So, that is 11.25 or kung fraction, 45 over 4. O, anong gagawin natin? Tama ka dyan, idol. Ita times pa natin yan sa pi kasi ang area ng circle ay r squared. So, that is 45 pi over 4. Anong unit? Cm squared. Okay? So, yun ay magiging final answer natin. Okay? Next, proceed tayo sa next problem. Okay, number 6. In an ordinary deck of playing cards, how many five card hands of consecutive ranks in one suit are possible? Ano ibig sabihin ng five card hands, limang card mga lodi, tapos sunod-sunod sila in a certain suit? So, ibig sabihin yan, parang simula tayo sa ace, two, 
3, 4, 5. So, yan yung magkakasunod. Next. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, hanggang dumating ka sa point na nakuha mo yung 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. So, computing this overall, ilan yan? So, A hanggang 9. So, parang 1 to 9, this is 9. Pero, you have 4 suits. Di ba, mga Lodi? So, that is multiplied by 4. Therefore, the correct answer is 36, 5 guard hands of consecutive ranks. So, ganun lang siya. Kunyari, 3 consecutive ranks. So, edi A to 3. Hanggang sa Jack, Queen, King. So, that is 11 times 4. That's 44. So, yun lang naman yung pwedeng variation yan. Number 7. A square is inscribed in a right triangle. With, with two of its sides lying on the legs. So, ano yung drawing yan? So, let's say meron tayong right triangle. Meron ka daw square in such a way na yung square mo, yung legs niya, is nandun nakapatong yung side ng square natin. If the legs of the triangle are 6 and 12 centimeters long, ito mga lodi, find the, uh, find the, ano yung hinahanap dito? Find the area of the square. So, ganito yung shortcut. Tuturo ko sa inyo mga lodi. Kasi 15 seconds lang siya eh. So, normally, we will solve this by similarity. So, we have the similar triangles here, at saka ito. So, siguro kaya-kaya nyo namang i-derive to for sure. Pero, tuturo ko muna yung shortcut. Kapag ang square is inscribed in a right triangle such that yung sides nito is along the legs of the right triangle. So, yung side ng square natin, so ito yung shortcut for the easy round. So, yung side natin, that is equal to the product of the legs all over the sum of the legs. So, you can solve this mentally. 6 times 12 over 6 plus 12. So, that is equal to 6 times 12, 72. Over 18, therefore the side of the square is 4 cm. So, ang area natin will be side times side or side squared. That is 4 cm squared. The correct answer is 16 cm squared. Ganun lang siya. Tandaan nyo yung shortcut ha, kapag ganyan yung drawing. Kasi hindi mo naman na kailangan mag-similarity. Ganun lang siya. Kung alam mo yung shortcut, mas solid. Kasi nga 15 seconds lang yung question. 15 seconds. Pero madi-derive mo yun sa similarity, but medyo ano lang. Uh, may mahaba-haba na ng konti. So, tinuro ko na sa inyo yung derived shortcut. Number 8. In rolling two dice at random, what is the probability of obtaining a sum that is a perfect square? So, ano-ano ba yung sum na perfect square? So, syempre, hindi tayo pwede maging 1 kasi ang minimum ng dalawang dice natin is 1 tsaka 1. So, ano mangyari? So, ang minimum natin is 4 tapos 9. Ilan yung possible outcome sa 4? Alam natin tatlo yan. So, we have 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. How about sa 9, mga Lodi? So, pwede mong i-divide yan sa dalaway. Kunyari, dalawa kayong magkatim. E di yung isa sa 4, sa 4, yung isa sa 9. Yung 9, ilan yung 9? Apat. So, that is 3, 6, 6, 3, 5, 4, 5. So, apat yan. Ano ang sample space natin? 6 times 6. 36. Therefore, the probability of getting a 4 or 9, that is 7 over 36. Inad lang natin. So, this is 4. This is, uh, sorry, this is 3. This is 4. 3 plus 4, 7. Kaya 7 over 36. Yan yung probability of getting a perfect square. Okay? Number 9. The sides of a triangle are 5, 5, and 6. How long is the altitude from one vertex to the opposite leg? So, meron tayong isosceles, 5, 5, 6. Ang hinahanap, altitude to the opposite leg. Ito yan. So, paano kinukumpute yan, Sir IG? Ganito, ang pinakamabilis na way, 5, 5, 6. Pag isosceles, ang altitude natin papunta sa base is also a median. Therefore, hatiin mo tong 6. So, ang gawin nun natin, before natin isolve yung x, eto, i-construct natin yung altitude na median. So, di ba 6 to mga loady, therefore 3, 3. E di alam natin yan, automatic 3, 4, 5, right triangle. 3, triple yan, Sir IJ. Kung hindi naman triple, e di mag-Pythagorean theorem ka na lang. 3, 4, 5. So, paano natin kukunin yung area nito? Area is 1 half, 6 times 4. So, that is 12. Di ba? Tapos, anong hinahanap? Ito na, yung x natin. Paano ba kinukuha yung area ng triangle? Area... 1 half base times side. Pero this time, yung gagamitin nating base is ito yung 5 kasi papunta sa kanya. Or ang pinaka way, or ang isang shortcut na formula na gagamitin natin dito, na nanggaling lang naman dito, yung height natin will be twice ng area over yung base na tinamaan niya. 
Ano yung nakuha natin area? 12. So, that's 2 times 12 over 5. Therefore, the correct answer is 4.8 cm or pwede rin namang 24 over 5 cm. So, yung nakalagay na sagot dun sa MMC, hindi po yun yung tamang sagot. That should be 24 over 5. Okay? So, baka na-typo lang siguro yung MMC mga lobby. Or nakalimutan lang yung times 2. Pero yun nga, ito yung tamang sagot. Okay? Down to our last problem, number 10. Sige, pwede rin naman natin i-discuss yung pang number 11 na extra. Okay, number 10. What is the sum of all even positive integers less than 1,000? So, Sir IG, hala, ang laki niyan. Paano natin susolve yan mentally? So, ganito. Less than 1,000, even. So, sum ng lahat ng even. Yung sum nila. So, ano bang formula ng sum, Sir IJ? Ang sum ng first even, so the first even numbers, that is equal to n times n plus 1. Ilan yung less than 1,000? Alam natin na from 2 to 1,000, that is 500. Since hindi kasali yung 1,000, n is 499. So therefore, yung sum ng first uh, even natin, less than 1,000, that is 499 times 500. Eh, hirap ka pa rin magmultiply mga lodi. Ang gawin mo, yung 500, gawin mo ganito, 499, times 1,000 over 2. Ganyan yung madaling way. So, magiging 499,000 over 2. Madali na siya mental. 4924500. Therefore, yun ay magiging tamang sagot. O kaya, pwede ka rin naman gumamit ng arithmetic sequence dyan. So, pwede mo gamitin yung n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Ito rin naman yung lalandingan yung mga lodi. Okay, so down to our last problem, number 11. What is the minimum value of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5? So, anong paano kayo nakuha yung minimum value? Pwede mong gamitin yung k. Yung k natin, ang formula c minus b squared over 4a. Yung iba pa nga ginagamit, 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Pero ako pag ganito, mental, kinukuha ko muna yung h. Mas madali lang para sa akin. Negative b over 2a. Mali ba nalang kung fractional yan? Pero kasi dito yung h natin positive. So, negative ng negative 4 over 2 times 2. So, this is 1. Then, itong 1, ilalagay ko sa value ng x na. So, ang magiging ano natin, minimum value, that is 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1. You can solve it mentally. So, that's 2 minus 4 plus 5. Therefore, the minimum value is 3. O kaya, pwede nyo gagamitin yung k k equals c minus b squared over 4a or 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. So, sana marami kayo natutunan for today, mga Lodi. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy na nagsusubscribe. Susubscribe sa channel ko and pagpalain tayo palagi ng Panginoon. God bless us all, mga Lodi. Bye-bye.